Boom! Peace intro. What's up, guys? Sunday. Well, I got a new phone. My phone wigged out on me yesterday. So now I got the Samsung 24 Ultra. Supposedly the baddest phone on the market with the baddest camera. I don't know. That's what they said anyway. And uh, so I'm going to try out this video. Supposedly it should be some good pictures. It's got a, a hundred times zoom up to 200 megapixels. It's pretty, pretty gnarly. I was able to zoom all, like shoot, all the way across the street from the T-Mobile store to a quick trip. And uh, anyway, hopefully this is, does some better pictures and all. Of course, my AC just kicked on. But uh, we're going to take a look at some things here. Plus, I got a couple cards to show you. They're going to go in the sticker drawings, but... I'm waiting on some other ones. They're going to be kind of separate. They're probably not going to go together. Um, once once they arrive, I'll show you. But, uh, you know, all of them. But, yeah, this thing is... Let's see there. Um, just excellent zooming. I mean, supposedly it should be pretty good pictures. But, of course, I'm using that dang shaky bipod. I'm going to have to figure something else out. Anyway, what's up guys? Did you see that Trump thing? They just can't stop, can they? Ain't that crazy? And then when he when he stands up like a true American afterwards and shakes his fist and says fight, 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 what do they say? You know, he shouldn't be spreading messages like that. Fight, fight, fight. Are you kidding me? All they have been talking about is going out and beating us everywhere they see us. I mean, you remember 2016? They attacked us everywhere, and then the media reported, Did you see Did you see that guy get hit with that bike lock? He just stuck his face right in front of that bike lock. I mean, these guys are pathetic, man. They've been calling for violence on, on the right, you know, for us to be attacked every time you turn around. You don't see Trump supporters out there attacking shit. But I tell you what, let them keep it up. This year, 2024, it ain't going to be like it was in 2020, 2016. Or 2020, 2016. Now they're going to get their asses handed to them if they start some shit this time. Like I said, Trump, Trump's probably almost guaranteed victory now. And then he's for America. Any of you dumb shits out there can't see that need to wake the F up. You're fucking stupid. Excuse me, but I'm just telling it like it is. You really think them Democrats care about you? You're a moron. Who do you think is trying to take away everything from you? It's the Democrats. And they go on about the damn, oh, his, his, his 2025. First off, that's, there's nothing wrong with it. Sure, there's some things in there that we might not just, you know, agree with, but most of it is right, and it's about morality. But it ain't even his program anyway. You know, and Agenda 47, there's nothing wrong with that either. Everything he wants to do there is American. He is he hasn't done anything they claim he does. And now look at that. Did you see that shooting? How is that even possible? How did you get within a hundred and fifty feet of of any politician like that? And on a roof, a white roof, with sharpshooters on other roofs. And if you look at the video, you could clearly see the Secret Service sharpshooter has his sights on him and doesn't take him out till after he fires five rounds what the hell is that guys sounds to me like they found themselves a 20 year old Lee Harvey Oswald and then they dropped him after he tried to you know do what he was supposed to do but you know who knows the way they've been egging everybody on Trump's gotta die somebody needs to shoot him so if the right said any of those things they would be arrested Secret Service would be at your door. If I said something right now about bullet, somebody needs to put a bullet in Biden, Secret Service would be here tomorrow. See, we don't say that kind of shit. They do. And nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. Well, then you get some lunatic goes out there and tries this. But like I said, how did he get away with that? How did he get so close? And then they drop him afterwards? Yeah, I'm not buying all that. I'm not buying that at all. They should have dropped him immediately. But anyway, one great thing about it, that loser piece of shit, he got to see that he was a complete failure. He missed his target in everything. 
right before his lights went out. <laughs> How much would that suck? To know you just pissed away everything and you didn't even complete your your goal. Anyways, it's, it's just nonsense. They they act like the right are the ones doing this. Everywhere you go, it's the left that attacks you. It's never the right out there attacking anybody. It's always the left. And I and I'm I mention this because I see so many other channels where they're still praising the left like it's it's great, you know, like oh, like Biden. These dumb shits still want to act like Biden ain't a complete moron. How how does that work? They they've all lied to everybody for four years. Biden has never ran anything. Everybody knows it. And, and you still trust people that have been lying to you like that after what you just seen? I mean, these people are unbelievable. They're the ones that, and, and you're going to give billions of dollars to Ukraine? Billions! I mean, I don't care if there was nothing else. The fact that he does that alone is enough that I ain't supporting that administration ever. But yet, what do you give America? Millions of illegals that you're trying to allow to vote. That's what you do for America. Yeah, I, like I said, these people are morons. But yeah, there you go. Tucker said it. Everybody called him, oh, he's just a crazy conspiracy theorist. No, he mentioned common sense. They will try to take Trump out. They will definitely try to take Trump out. And like I said, if you would just, anybody would just be honest with themselves, they would realize he is losing money messing with this crap. He could go on and live the rest of his life just fine. But like he said, he's an American. He's not a politician. And that's why they have to, the, the deep state, the globalists, the ones running the world, have to get rid of him. If they would have been successful yesterday, there ain't a single person of any of you out there that could tell me one person alive on this earth that could take his place. Not a one. Every one of them would sell out. Every one of them would trade us for, for whatever they tell them to do. Every one of them. Why, that, why do you think they threw Biden to the wolves the way they did? The Democrat Party knew. They just waited. They waited because now you can't pick RFK, let's say. They get to pick. If they was to push him out now, they get to appoint a new puppet. Not a leader, a puppet. That's why Trump's got to go. They are so close to finishing everything. They can't afford for some American-loving dude to step in there and stand behind real Americans. And that's the truth of it, whether you want to believe it or not. But anyway, yeah, I wasn't expecting to talk about that, but heck, it's what's going on now. And, of course, they, you know, they just secured his deal. He, they can't beat him. Real Americans have had enough of this shit. And the people on the left that are truly honest with themselves, they've left as well. The only people still over there are the people that just flat don't care. They just want to win. By any means, I just hate that guy. I don't care. And then you got the blue hair, bone in the nose, rainbow flag flying weirdos that, you know, that, that just are going to stay over there no matter what. And the other ones I don't get is these people that are more worried about being able to kill their baby than they are what's going on in the country. I mean, most of those channels I see, these paid shields for the DNC, that's all they go on about is, is he's going to stop abortion. He ain't stopping no abortion nowhere. You guys, and you know what? I don't, I, I agree with you guys. Abort your damn kid. I don't want your kid around anyway. I mean, look the way you act. Why would I want your kid around? Kill it. I don't give a shit. I mean, it's ridiculous. I don't know why they... They get so tied up in abortion. I mean, Trump should just come out and say, look, I don't care what you guys do. I mean, think about the morality of that situation. You got somebody who's going to kill their kid like that. Well, instead of just being responsible, well, that, that's on them, you know? I don't, we don't do that. You know, we, we grew up differently. You have responsibility. If something don't work out right, well, you're going to have to deal with your bad choice. You don't kill it. You know, but whatever. That's what they're going to do fine. I don't know why politicians... I don't know why they get involved in that. I just like, you just do what you're going to do. But even then, it's for the states. It ain't Trump saying, oh, you're no... But they just lie about everything. But again, like I said, I don't understand why so many people are so worried about being able to do that. Why don't you just be responsible? My God, man. Jesus. And then... You know, 
like, oh, well, you know, rape, incest, all that. He, that, that stuff hasn't been stopped. Any, anyway, I, I don't want to go on. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just ridiculous where these people's priorities are. It's flat out nonsense. It's just, we're going to get to some cars here in a minute. Let me shine in on something else. Get this here. Camera. I want to see. I'm, I'm hoping that these pictures are. Stop shaking. I'm hoping it's a lot better picture. Sorry, guys. I just got to spit all that out. It annoys me, and, and it's the truth. These people are are so deranged. It's unbelievable, and they're the ones that's always attacking us. And and it's always in those cities where people won't do shit about it. <clears throat> I mean, you pull that shit around here, and we'll stomp a mud hole in your damn ass and drag you down the road. You won't pull that shit around us. Antifa, they don't come here because they'll have their ass. They'll be hog fucking shit. Excuse my French, but that's a fact. We will dispose of them properly, and they know it, so they don't come here. And that's the way it needs to be everywhere. You stand up. Quit letting the left push everybody around. You, they want to crack you in the head with a bike lock? Well, you wrap a chain around their fucking face. Excuse me again, but these guys don't, like I said, they, they're going to they're gonna mess around. They're going to piss off the wrong people, and it's going to be over. They're lucky Trump didn't die. There's millions and millions of people like me that will be out there gutting some ass. And anyway, this shit has to end. It, 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 they, they are destroying us to the end. And Trump, you can't tell me one thing Trump wants to do that's bad for America. Is he the smartest man in the world? Hell no. But everything he says about America is the truth. And then the dumb shits, they can't even get, you know. <laughs> that was so, he moved, I mean, everything about that was just luck. He, he it barely, you know, and yeah, one of the reporters, sorry, but this cracked me up. When they, did you hear him ask Biden? Every, Biden and all them people, sure, they come out and say what they're supposed to, but you know every damn one of them wish that bullet would have hit. Every one of them do. And, uh, but anyway, you hear that report? Do you think it was an assassination attempt? Well, you dumb shit, what do you think it was? No, not at all. It was an ear-piercing attempt. That's what it was, moron. I mean, these people are unbelievable, man. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. It, it, this need that people need to stop letting the left and the woke and all them mobs push you around. These spoiled little brats act this way every time they don't get their way. And us in the Midwest, we've had it. We will mop the floor with your ass. We're not dealing with it, and that's why they don't come around here. So I, you know, I, I, I probably, I don't deal with a bunch of that crap around here. So I probably shouldn't complain about it, but I hate seeing it in the cities that do. You guys have to stop it. Crack them. I don't care. YouTube, do what you want. You fight fire with fire. You want to come up and punch me in the face? You think I'm not going to punch you back in the face? You're crazy. So it's just, it's, it's nuts. But honestly, we go to any Trump rally. They never attack anybody. It's always the left that are saying, beat them, beat them, do that. You know, it's just pathetic. I'm sick of it. But anyway, guys, there you go. That's what they did. It's got, finally got them some moron to step up there and try to take Trump out. So anyway, here's the car. Sorry, guys, I just had to get that out of my system because damn it. And it's the truth. If you disagree, that's fine. This is America. But it's the truth. Trump is your best chance for survival in America. And even then, it's going to be hard for him to, to take all this back from the... There's just too many people against us. And they've got all these dumb college kids and 20-year-olds and shit brainwashed into believing shit without even looking into it. They won't even look into it. I mean, they're kind of out there saying Trump's called for the murder of Biden. No, he hasn't. Never. And every time I ask these people to show me this stuff, they can't. They won't. And then the podcast, the people that, that spread that rumor, they, they'll, their moderators will kick me off. And all I do is ask simple questions. Their comments, they won't let my comments post. And all I do is ask simple questions. I don't call them names or nothing. But it's because they can't afford for me to be asking the people they're trying to feed shit to any common sense questions like that. But they won't look. And me, I'll go look it up. You know, people say Trump did this or Trump did that. I'll go try to find it. And sure, I've, some of it I find where he said something completely stupid. But it still doesn't compare to, well, you know what? 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 Uh, Hawaii caught on fire? Oh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to send $40 billion to Ukraine. Uh, 
Well, what? Israel was attacked? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to send $50 billion to Ukraine. Uh, what? A train derailed in Wisconsin? We're going to send $10 billion to Ukraine. I mean, come on, guys. Snap out of it. So anyway, forgive me, but my God, I get going. I, this, to the, to this, this morning has been very hard. Video after video of that crap and, and, and so on. And like I said, now back to my new phone. I hope this is a, a great picture because uh, I'm, I'm really hoping it will be. But anyway, now let's jump over here to these cars. These are two of the cars I got in. Let's see if I can get this position. Sorry, guys. These are two of the cars I got in. I'm waiting on... Stop shaking. Sorry, guys. Don't throw up. I'm waiting for a couple other ones. There's a there's an Advin of that Aurora. Oh, that baby is so nice. Both of them are sweet. This is an NO64. This is an Aurora. Aurora model is pretty nice, too, guys. Um, let's see if we can get up here. I mean, you can see the interior there is pretty nice. Um, little wipers on the oops, little wipers on the hood or on the windshield. Pretty sweet little model. I don't want to drop it. Maybe I should leave it up there and maybe I should leave it up there and just zoom in on it. But anyway, that's an Aurora model. Um well this one's number fifty two out of five hundred. There's only only five hundred. But anyway, let's see here. This is an NO64, real nice little Coca-Cola RX-7. And there's a white one coming, but it's it's not the Coca-Cola. It's, uh, dang, I don't remember what it's called. It's a different name. Um, oh, dang it, I don't remember. But anyway, when it gets here, um, it'll be up as well. And there's the Advin. I have an Advin of, of that model coming. And... You know, there'll be different sticker drawings, but I'm not sure which way I'm going to put them. Um, I, I'm not sure how how I'm going to do them yet until it gets here. Um, I only have one more of these, and I only have one more of the Advin. But I have two more of these, and two more of the, dang it, the other one. I can't look, it's on my phone, and I'm recording with it. Um... So it'll it'll probably be split up like that. It'll probably be one of these, one of these, and one of the other ones, and then the other one will be the other two of those and the admin. So it'll be two separate drawings there. But um, I gotta wait for them to get here, and we'll do the other skyline drawing. Um, back up a little bit. Golly, sorry it's shaking so much. We'll do the other skyline drawing. Um, maybe later today. Um, I got to be able to turn around and show it. And the way I'm set up right now with this, I can't really do that. So, um, but anyway, these are good looking little castings. I was really glad to get them. I was waiting on this one. Oh, come on. And the problem with uh, the other version of this is um, I got it from Big J's Diecast and Big J's Garage. And they uh, had a big hurricane down there and lost power. So they're delayed about a week on getting things shipped out. And they can't ship anything out until they get their power back. So I'm waiting on those. And my admin for that should be here, oh, maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. <laughs> I don't know. It said it was arrived at the post office, so I went by there yesterday, tried to pick it up after work, and they claim it's not there. So, <clears throat> typical. I don't know. 
I don't know, man. It's just same old shit. Sorry about all the cussing in this video. I need to work on not doing that. I know there's a lot of kids. But anyway, um, <clears throat> let's see. I could show a little more of the diorama now. Hopefully the, uh, well, that zoomed back a ways. I just mainly want to see if the clarity and all will be better. I'm doing it on ultra high def. And this thing will go up to 200 megapixels. I believe I'm only set on 12 right now. And like I said, I just want to see if the clarity will be any better in the video. Because like I said, some of you guys got some cameras that, man... They just show them cars so well. I'm hoping. I'm hoping this one will. They told me it's the best one on the market right now. Of course, you know, next month that won't be true. Now that's an Android. I don't know how it compares. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the guy at the store had the newest uh, iPhone. And said this camera is better than his iPhone camera as well. So, I don't know. And as you see, I got more mechanics in. But, um, you know, of course, next month it won't matter. This phone will be obsolete. Obsolete, and there'll be another one. <laughs> but, uh, just want to show it real quick and... post the video and see if see if it is real good I'm hoping it is I'm kind of moving it around with my hands if you all can obviously see that but yeah those are some good looking models there there's a few of them coming I got the Martini crew back there. I believe I got whoops, sorry guys. Auga! Auga! Better watch out, she crack you with that damn bat. What are you see? Red Bull. See my vending machines over there. Red Line Club, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Let's see, I want to get up there. Cheetos. Monster Energy Drink. Anyway, let me try to get this back, guys. Sorry. I know you're probably getting dizzy because I'm all over the damn place. Um, one. So anyway, there we go, guys. Once again, I know you guys know me, so you know how I am about that damn Trump shit, but I get fired up over the lies. We don't attack people, man, I'm telling you. Not that we won't. Or we can't. We just ain't that way. It's a lie. They lie to you, man. We don't do that. It's the left that's out there doing that. Just like in 2016. And then the media is bought and paid for by the same people. So they lie to you and tell you it's the Trump supporters that are causing trouble. Like they're saying now, Trump brought it on himself. By what? 
By what? Telling everybody the truth? <clears throat> this government is robbing you. They're lying to you about everything, including that Green New Deal. Look at all the money that we give to, to the climate. Does China? Hell no. Does it, I mean, it's a, it's a grift, guys. The billions of dollars down the drain because of crap. Just lies. And, and while Americans are on the street, while we're paying outrageous prices for everything, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Houses, I'm still way under 3% on my interest rate for my house because I got it, you know, I did it years ago. They're constantly trying to get me to refund. Take this, you got $120,000 in equity. You, what, yeah, why would I do that, you dumbass? So you could hit me with 8.5% interest? What would I do that for? No. Every day they try to get me to refinance because they want us all buried. But that's 8.5% interest rate? My God, guys. Food out the... Out, I mean, everything is outrageous now. And it's just its just no sense in it. And we're just giving billions away to, to Zelensky every time he farts. You know, and it, it, it's... Oh, my God, man. Anyway, it's just so tired of it. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, but, you know, piss on Ukraine. I don't give a shit about Ukraine. America's going down the drain and... and and nobody's doing anything about it. Well, like I said, ooh, look at that. That's a good shot of that Hot Wheel up there. Um, that's that 100% Hot Wheel. Well, it's, a, it's, it's about time that America takes care of America. And I don't understand these leftists that have a problem with people being for America. It's just unbelievable, man. Why would you be like that? If you, especially if you're American. An American ain't white, guys. American is American. It doesn't matter where you come from or any of that. If you're American, you're you're American. It's just sad, but that's where we are now. And that. You know, Project 2025 or whatever from the Heritage Foundation, that's not Trump's deal. It's what's recommended. He likes some of it. He doesn't like the rest. Same as me. I'm all for a lot of it. A lot of it, I'm like, yeah, I could pass on that. But, I mean, it's just the way. It, and nothing says he's going to go by that. It's just. But a lot of it is good moral compass. You know, it's a good direction. Beats the hell out of what they're doing for us. I mean, look at this crap they got us going in. Books out of, you know, oh, he's going to ban books. No, he wants books to come out of schools that are teaching things that should not be taught to little bitty kids. He wants television shows and cartoons to stop pushing sexual orientation and stuff to little kids because it shouldn't. Anyway, um, hopefully everything's good, but yeah, they're going to, there's gonna have some they're gonna have some explaining to do how the heck they got them sniper in there in the first place. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you guys see that video, pay attention. Why is that sharpshooter sighting in on him but not dropping him until after he puts off five rounds? Then he drops him. What negligence? At the very at the very minimum, this is Secret Service incompetence because of diversity hires. Or they allowed it to happen. I mean, I can't imagine how you could get that close. I mean, you couldn't get that close to AOC. You know, the moron bartender. But yet you were able to get that close to Trump with a wide open... Sh I mean, one of the most obvious places you would look for a sharpshooter or a sniper. And he's able to just crawl up there in the middle of a big white roof. And pop off some rounds? <laughs> Holy cow, man, that's something. It sounds like they found themselves, they tried to Kennedy this guy. They found themselves another, you know, their version of Lee Harvey Oswald. They let him do what he was supposed to, well, they let him attempt to do what he was supposed to do, and then they took him out. Same way they did Oswald. And unfortunately, well, for them, he was unsuccessful. But, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
Um, anyway, guys, what do you... I know, I'm going all over the place, but I'll tell you what, that stuff fires me up, man. I, I can't stand being bullied like that, and that's how I feel that the left is doing all of us. They're just bullying us. They're using media to lie to everybody. I can't stand the people that fall for it and believe it. I even have some family members that believe that shit. And, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? Why can't you just be honest with yourself? And it, it just frustrates me. It's like, you dumb shit. But, um... Anyway, let me know if this camera video looks better, if the cars look better. I'm hoping they do. Um, and like I said, I'll have some more of these. I, don't, I only got one of those. They ain't cheap, really. They're, 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 they're not cheap at all. Um, well, these were like 28 bucks. This was, I think, 30... Oh, it might have been... It might have been 32... 31.95, 32, something like that. But, um, like I said, it'll be something like that. The other one, you guys probably know which one it is that goes with this. But it's white, and it's, uh, dang, I can't remember the name that's on it. But I don't have one yet. Um, but it'll probably be that. It'll be like that. And a lot of you guys have been wanting to pick. So when you're on your drawing, on my sticker drawings, a lot of them are probably just going to stay picked now. So I may have it listed as first, second, third. But... Each time I keep asking and you guys just want to pick. So first place will just get to pick. But um, but it'll probably be, like I said, one of these, one of these, and then the other one color of that. And then the other drawing will be this one, but it's the Admin. It's a different chick, and it's the Admin RX-7. Real nice looking, too. And then the other one of these and the other white one of those will be on those drawings. And, uh, of course, I, you know, I have some other things, but they haven't arrived yet either. And so hopefully later on today, I've been, well, I'll try to get the other drawing done with the, um, RLC Skyline, if I can. And, uh, I've been trying to get these packages ready for you guys that I still got to send, but I'm trying to cram, I'm trying to find some castings to send y'all out of this stuff and I don't really know what so whatever you get is just what I threw in the box guys because I didn't know what else to throw in there I'm just pulling up stuff and um, putting some things over there uh, hold on a second here um, Fern well now Fern's got a new one but I stuck these to the side for you <clears throat> Fern hoping that maybe you could use them that bottom was a sweetie. But uh, they're just um, ones that... And these aren't extra. Well, this one is. I have one of those for myself. These, I don't really have an extra one, but I don't really care to keep them. So I stuck these in the pile for you, Fern. Hopefully you need those. Um, and... Um, still trying to find other stuff for some people. Steve, mini stangs. These are just basics, but I know you like to do some Batmobiles. I had a couple Batmobiles, and I, I came across one of these Mustangs I'm not sure you had. But I'm trying to find some other things to send to you. And, uh, Mr. Bruce, um, Curbs. Curbs, I haven't, pull, I haven't pulled you up some extra cars yet, Curbs. I'm still looking on that. But Mr. Bruce, well, I... Guys, Mr. Proust sends me a lot of stuff. I got a lot of cars over there. I can't even pick them all up and show them to you. They're, they're all over there. Um, but uh, I got those over there for you. And I, I got these laying on top I can grab. I don't know, Mr. Proust. I was hoping maybe you or your grandsons would want one of these. I got that cool combi, that Toyota Supra, and that Austin Hala. The, it's that one. Don't know if you need them or not. But I had these added to your pile, Mr. Bruce, and a bunch of basics, and um, some of them are sets, some of them are not. Uh, but I wanted I wanted to add those to your to your deal and get them ready to go. But oh my God, guys, I'm still working overtime, and it is so hot in there. I'm telling you, I, I go I go to work, and I tell myself. As soon as I get home, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and oh man, and by the time I get home, I'm beat, and if I make the mistake of, of sitting down at the table for a second or something, and 
I'm drinking a glass of tea or something. Oh, dude, I can't hardly get up. I mean, I gotta, I gotta get past all this um, overtime or something because, holy cow, man, it's wearing me down. And, uh, but I you know, can't do nothing about it. But anyway, I hope to get all that done, guys. Um, again, uh, if you guys are in a super rush, let me know. Oh, and uh, dang it, um, Black Wolf Customs, I haven't sent your car yet. Um, I'm not sure when you're sending me mine, but I'm trying to find some things to send you, and I'm not, I'm not really sure what it'll be. But I didn't want to send just your that single car, so I, I still got to get yours ready too. Sorry about that, buddy. Um, but uh, um, those transports, yeah, you can send those whenever you want, whenever you get ready. And I'm not worried about it. You don't need to send a bunch of extra stuff with that. Uh, um, I don't, I don't, I don't really care about. I mean, you don't need to do that. You don't need to keep getting me other stuff that you find or stuff. I don't. I mean, I appreciate it, but you don't really need to do that. You can just send me the cars I paid you for, and um, that's good enough for me, buddy. Um, and, uh, of course, after we do this drawing, hopefully I get done today. I'll see who wins those things. So, anyway, let me let you guys out of here and post this video and see if the camera's any better. Of course, the next video is probably going to be with a tablet or something so I can do the drawing because um, I use the tablet for that. I like how you could touch the screen like you want to touch the sign way in the back you want to focus back there you touch the screen back there focuses back there you want to focus on the cars you can touch up front touch the cars it's pretty cool thing has so many settings it's unbelievable but it's the Samsung Ultra 24 Ultra S or something, I don't know, something like that Supposedly it's the highest top one they have but my phone went on the fritz yesterday it kept turning on and off 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 and um, they gave me 800 bucks for it for my other phone this thing was thir uh, thirteen hundred dollars for this phone but they gave me eight hundred for my other one because when I got down there, what happened was I was deleting files and somehow it tried to delete files on my SD card and I didn't know I had an SD card in there. And um, so instead of the phone was protecting the SD card by shutting it off and then it would turn it back on, but it was still in delete mode. So it would shut it back off again. When I got to the store, the guy figured that out and said, here's your problem. Took it out. Phone was fine. But I was already there, and I was like, he was like, well, do you want to upgrade? We got this thing over here with a nice camera. And I just finished telling you guys about how I wanted to get a better camera. And I was like, well, let me take a look at it. And then I seen how much it was. I was like, nah, I'm just going to keep mine, man. I, I can't afford that right now. I don't want to pay that much. Especially saying, he's like, well, we give you $800 for this one. I said, like, you're going to give me $800 for that Note 9? I had that thing for like three and a half years now. He's like, well, let me take a good look at it. He took a good look at it. And uh, and I keep it wrapped up. When I go to work, I grind, I weld and everything. So I wrap it up in a paper towel and I stick it in a plastic bag. So it keeps it set. And he looked at it. He came and said, yeah, we'll give you 800 bucks for this. Take it right off that phone. I said, you're going to take it right off of it. Yeah. I said, all right, I'll do that. So I did. <laughs> so anyway... Let me let you guys go. Again, guys, sorry about my little rant there about the government, but you know how I am. And sorry, Mr. Pruce or anybody else had children or grandkids that might have been listening, but man, the world's a rough place. And I know I don't have to cuss a lot, but sometimes it gets the point across. And uh, seriously, we can't let these guys push us around anymore. Something has to be done. And uh, I have a feeling when Trump gets in there, the only way he's not getting in there is they're going to have, they're going to cheat. There's going to be another 2 million th ballots come in at 3 a.m. and all of them are going to be for Biden. Other than that, there's no way they're stopping Trump. Well, as soon as that happens, these guys are going to hit the streets and they're going to start attacking people. And I'm just saying, guys, we don't put up with that over here. I really hope nobody over there puts up with it. Wherever you're at, do not put up with it.
is all I'm saying. Anyway, guys, let me get out of here and post this, see how it goes. Have a good weekend. It's even though it's almost over. And um, hopefully this video, let me know what you think about them cars, man. I think they look super cool. I do wish there were some brake calipers or something inside those wheels, but still it's a good looking RX-7. And, uh, but this Aurora, I was really impressed with it. It does have brake calipers and all of that. But I was really impressed with it. I, I, don't, I don't believe I have any other Aurora model. If I do, I don't remember it. I guess I could go look, but I don't recall it. Anyway, let me let you guys go and get on out of here. And um, y'all take it easy. Peace. Outro.